since it's your guys' first communion, why don't you guys come up here? So we'll have our first communicants come up here, and I'll try and tell you a story. So just come on right up here. We can sit on the tiles. So. There's this, uh, I want to tell you a story about this guy named Thomas Merton. So, no. <laughs> um, so there's this guy named Thomas Merton, and he was going to college, um, and he, he didn't really believe in God. He wasn't raised that way, and um, he admits that when he was in college, he was kind of just thought of himself. Um, but one day, he's in his dorm room, and he hears this voice say, go to Mass, go to Mass. And like, he didn't know what it was, but he decides, I'm going to go to Mass. He's not even Catholic. He starts going to Mass just to attend. And then uh, later, he's in Cuba on vacation. And he goes to this church, he goes to Mass. And when the priest consecrates the host, and that's when the priest says this prayer for the Holy Spirit to come down upon the bread and wine and to change it, into the body and blood of Christ. It says, when the priest did that, he said, all of a sudden, the, um, all of a sudden, the host lit up. And he said it was like he was blind because there was just bright light to it. So at that point, he's convinced he saw a miracle, so he becomes Catholic. And then he becomes Catholic, and then he becomes a priest and this monk. The monks live in this monastery, and they pray all day long. And he's praying, and being a priest, and one day um, he has to go into town, uh, into the city for something. And so he goes to bed, and when he goes to bed, he has this dream. And he has this dream where, in the dream, this little girl appears to him, and he says to the little girl, oh, you seem like a nice girl. And the girl says, oh, nobody ever notices me. And he says, well, what's your name? And she says, my name is Proverbs, which means wisdom. That's the Holy Spirit. And he just thought that was a strange dream. So the next day, he goes into town. He's on the corner of the street. And then all of a sudden, whenever he looked at anybody, he could see this little girl in them. And then the girl became this bright light. And all these people walking around said, we're as bright as the sun. And if the light's in you and you and you and me and all of us, then all of us are one. And he said it was like waking from a dream of separateness. We're not completely separate. That, you know, if Christ runs through me and all of you, we're all connected. And he said, all these people walking around, he says, I really love them. I love them. And after this point, um, he really becomes this great spiritual icon of the history in the United States. Becomes an incredibly holy man. And he all credits it to really the Eucharist, changed his life. And it reminds me of today's gospel, because the Eucharist, is, we'd say, the Eucharist connects us with each other. The Eucharist connects us with all those in heaven, with all those around the world, so that all of us are really one. And when he says the vine and the branches, that's kind of what the bri vine and the branches mean. So I actually got some pictures here for you. So. Yeah. There's nothing better than pictures. So, here, you, I'll let you pass that around. Austin, you can pass that around. So, you can see there's, put it this way, vines and branches. So, the vine, the big part, Christ says, I'm the vine. And who's the branches? You guys. Uh, so you can pass that around. So, yeah. So, is the roots Jesus' father? That is very good. But he says the vine grow, but you could use that too. Good job. Um, that's a very clever you thinking of that. So you guys are the vine. And the vine, oh, sorry, Christ is the vine. You guys are the branches. And the vine, it feeds the branches with life, right? That's what the Eucharist does. Feed you guys with life. And what are the branches supposed to produce? Water. Not water. I mean, um, well, food. Food, but what does it say? Fruit. And, and on the pictures, what are the, what's, what's the fruit on the... Grapes. 
And there's a story in the Old Testament about this. So Jesus is quoting the story that every morning when God, um, when God looks at the world every morning, he's checking out the branches. And who are the branches? Us. And you know what he's looking for? God is looking for the fruit. And the fruit is, God says, is love and compassion and courage and forgiveness and hope. God thinks, God wants it to be produced in us. So we kind of feed the world. So that idea is, well, Christ feeds us. He's the vine. And your guys' fruit, your love, your compassion, you guys are supposed to feed the world with that. That's what God wants. So on your first communion, I hope you guys produce a lot of good fruit. Yeah. Love, courage, compassion. You guys, I hope, can... can oh, thank you. Um, and you know what else? So if you guys are supposed to produce this fruit of love, why, if this is so good, and that's what the Eucharist feeds you, then why did we wait until now to celebrate your first communion? Oh, okay. How about this side? Why didn't we do it last year, the year before? Right, because you weren't old enough. Because now you can know, listen, you're old enough that if you receive communion, you're making this promise to God. In the very ancient world, this is how you made a promise. You're making a promise to God that if Christ feeds you life, that you're going to offer that life back with a lot of good fruit. God is hoping every morning you guys produce a lot of love and mercy and forgiveness. So I want you to remember your first communion. I remember mine. Um, like all you guys have sponsors who are going to come up with you my sister came up with me it was a great day but I want you to remember it because today you're making this promise to God and I hope like Thomas Merton you look back in your life and you say ah Christ fed me and I produced a lot of love and compassion in the world so remember this day so I tell you what now I'm going to take these back and you guys stand up and We'll renew our baptismal promises. Sure. You guys can go sit with your parents too.